Homemade coconut flour is not only easy to make, but it is more than cost effective. It's practically free if you're making coconut milk at home. If you remember a while ago, we shared a video on the easy process of homemade coconut milk. A natural byproduct of making coconut milk is the coconut pulp. You could use the pulp as it is in recipes that call for coconut flakes, but the process of making coconut flour with it is very simple. And then the flour can be used in a number of different recipes. To make coconut flour, you do have to extract the milk from the pulp first. Otherwise, due to the high fat content in the coconut, when blending the flakes at high speed, it will turn to coconut butter instead. So check out our video on homemade coconut milk for a few tips on how to do this. I'll leave the link in the description. I like to save the coconut pulp obtained from each batch of coconut milk and freeze it until I have a certain quantity. Then I can make a larger amount of coconut flour at a time. To make coconut flour, the leftover pulp has to be dehydrated first. There are a few ways in which this can be achieved. One way is to spread the coconut pulp on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Break any big clumps and spread the pulp evenly on the tray. Then you can either just leave the pulp to air dry on the tray for 24 hours or place it in the oven at the lowest temperature setting and bake for 3-4 to four hours until the pulp is completely dry. You can also use a dehydrator if you have one. Alternatively, you can dry the pulp in a skillet on low heat. I personally prefer this method as it is quicker and can be done even during the warmer month of the year without having to turn on the oven for hours. But also because the gentle heating lends a slightly roasted aroma to the coconut flour. This adds another layer of flavor in the preparations when the coconut flour is used. Pan roasting may take up to 20 minutes. You will notice that the pulp will start to turn to a slight beige color and will become brittle. If it feels dry to the touch, take the pan off the heat and allow to cool. Once the pulp is dried and cooled, add it to a blender and process for 1-2 to two minutes until a fine texture is obtained. If you have a high speed blender, you can get it to a more powdery consistency. With my blender it stays a little grainy, but is still good to use in many recipes. Store the coconut flour in an airtight jar in a cool cupboard and use within 3-4 to four months. Or you can keep it refrigerated to preserve it for longer. Coconut flour is a gluten-free and grain-free flour but it can equally be used in many non-gluten-free preparations too. It is high in fiber and very filling. It provides a good source of protein and is low in carbohydrates. It is also naturally sweet so it makes an ideal baking ingredient as you won't require as much additional sweetener. For the love of coconut you can check out these recipes on the channel where I've used coconut flakes or the pulp. But for coconut flour recipes, stay tuned as I will have some recipes coming up in the near future. Leave us a comment and let us know what coconut flour recipes you'd like us to make. If this video tutorial was helpful to you, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers and stay tuned!